Welcome everyone to what's new in Tableau 2022.4. I'm Mark Reed at Tableau Visionary, and I can't wait to introduce you to Tableau's latest innovations. So let's get started. To kick us off, here's an overview of all the new features being released in Tableau 2022.4. Tableau's latest innovations help you use your time more effectively and focus more time on driving business results. My personal favorite is the new image role feature, which provides a much quicker and easier way to integrate images into your dashboards. We'll see more on that later. Now that you've seen an overview, let's take a closer look at some highlights. To start us off, we have Tableau External Actions. Tableau External Actions delivers a native integration with Salesforce Flow to help automate business processes. By connecting your dashboards to Salesforce, you can stay in the flow of work and make decisions in context without leaving Tableau. You can now escalate a case, send a customer invoice and more with a single click. When you create an external actions workflow, you can connect any data source with a flow in Salesforce. In turn, you can bring together data from various tools and teams to streamline complex processes into a single workflow. Next, we have Image Role, a new field semantic that offers a scalable and automated way to bring image assets into Tableau. By leveraging image links in your data, Tableau can now dynamically load pictures as row or column headers in your worksheet. You can now easily add context that goes beyond just text names or descriptions. With Image Role, you can use pictures to help others better recognize and connect with what their analytics is about. And since images are managed externally, Image Role keeps your workbooks from becoming too large to maintain or share. In addition to Image Role, Tableau 2022.4 is introducing a number of ideas sourced directly from the Tableau community. These new capabilities make it easier to complete common tasks. Previously, replacing a data source would apply to all worksheets using that data source. Now, you can selectively replace data sources on a worksheet level without complicated workarounds. It's now easier to hyperlink text to add context and help users navigate to additional sources of knowledge. You can now hyperlink text in the rich text editor by clicking the new link button in the toolbar, which is accessible to keyboard only users. To round out our community inspired ideas, we have the new proper function. This function provides a simple way to convert text strings to proper case, so your text is formatted as your end users expect. As members of the data fam, we all know the importance of making data-backed decisions. With usage metrics, analysts now have the insights they need to understand and make decisions about content performance. Total views and favorites are displayed as metrics in the new usage tab. Analysts now have a feedback loop so they can see for their audience and what's not. Using these insights, analysts can learn how to make better and more impactful content. Usage metrics can also be used to identify workbooks that need to be refreshed or retired for better self-service content management. On the other side, viewers can leverage usage metrics to validate the content is widely used and trustworthy. For all the developers out there, we have an exciting new API that brings together automation and personalization. Using this new API, you can manage custom views at scale. The custom views REST API introduces five methods. Get custom view image, get custom view, get custom views, update custom views and delete custom view. The get custom views and update custom views methods can also be filtered. This new feature unlocks several key use cases. Now you can leverage custom views in embedded scenarios to deliver relevant views that save your users filters, sorts or selections. In conjunction with the embedding API version three, the custom views API delivers personalized experiences to your users no matter where they work. You can also use this API for application integration by bringing preview images into your applications and portals. The Custom Views REST API also helps automate user and content management. For example, using the API, you can easily transfer ownership between users. Last but not least, we have usage-based licensing for embedded analytics. Usage-based licensing is a new way to license Tableau Cloud embedded analytics in addition to existing role-based offerings. Under this new licensing model, you have a flexible and cost-effective way to scale analytics beyond your organization. Instead of paying per viewer license, you pay for what you use and get value from. That wraps up the Tableau 2022.4 highlights. As always, thank you for joining. These are just some of the exciting features in Tableau 2022.4. For more information on these features and more, please visit tableau.com.